League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Ought to be a good one here between the Rochester Red Wings and the Louisville Bats. We've got baseball on the show, and, and it's coming up next. Louisville Bats. Now with the plate is Victor Robles. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. And this is in a bit tight. Maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now. Three and two. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. Senzel's got it and there's one gone. Next to hit Jeremy De La Rosa. One out nobody on. Now a flare out to left center Garcia ranging into the outfield. He makes the running play two down. Next to stand in is Rhett Wiseman. Rhett Wiseman. Now the 2-1 pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Striding in is Nick Senzel. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fastball well outside. Fouled away. Here's another 2 2. Popped up. Infante over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. Now one down with that the bases exactly. empty and no next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Jesse. Bases are empty one man. Out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Batting third. So the next the to bat will be Logan Morrison. Morrison. A one one. Swung on and missed One for ball. strike number two. two strike. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Two, two. That misses and we're even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Now it'll be the four hole hitter Drew Mendoza. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now a two fastball but that's two easy strike. to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball but he comes up empty and that's the first out. That so now good. to the plate Mike the Ford. Pitch. Mike Ford. Two balls, balls and a strike. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Full count now. Three and two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Too nope. high, and that ball cost four. him ball four. Next to dig in, that Jackson Flores. The second baseman, Jackson Flores. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. All even now, two and two. Oh, 
Tony's Eight. gonna get rung up on a curveball, and that looked like a questionable strike at best, two away. Next up is Samuel Infante. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Line drive to center field. Senzel makes the play, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, T.J. Friedel. He's set, and the payoff pitch. aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Ready now is number 28. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now a throw over and he'll dive back in safely. Friedel gets his lead at first. Nobody out. On the run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Ground ball left side. Oh, what a stop. One out. there. He Six, beat it good. out. That exists. Not shortstop. Okay. So here is Jose Garcia. Bottom of the second here with no score. little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Again he sends it out of play. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. In. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first that and second tough. now with one away. The third baseman. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Robles falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. And now, Bo Taylor, two's all the over the place. Two on, number two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. At the plate now is number 38. He's ready for his first day B here in this one. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. So now the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. This is a textbook sacrifice situation, so let's see if that's the call. It's bunted into the air, and the catch is made for the first out of the inning. Victor Robles digging in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Victor Robles. 1 1. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Still even at two and two. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning.
So here now is the pitcher, Hector Perez. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. Now the one and one pitch. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And it misses three and one now. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And there's your first out of the inning. Back to the top of the okay. order now, and that Coach means Nick field. Senzel will dig yeah. in at the plate. Senzel. The 1-1 one, one home. Oh, Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a three-two pitch. Now back. Two down, no one on base. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. Winker. Here's the one and one pitch. Hot shot down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The first baseman, number six. Standing in now, Logan Morrison. Uh, had him off stride one that time, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Now to bat, Jeremy De La Rosa flew out last time up. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. To one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Liner toward right center. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. He'll get it into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. The right fielder number four, Red Wiseman. In now, Red Wiseman. And he'll miss the target there with the curveball, and it's two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Mendoza. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Strike taken up in the zone. Two and two. Here it is. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Senzel is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. for the last half of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder T.J. Friedel. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh. 
Oh. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Line good speared on a hop. Throws oh. in time, and that's out number one. Next, okay. it'll be number, number 28. 20. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Outside, oh, 2 and 1. Two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, 2 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling down. really good Three, about two. his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Robles is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Next, here is Jose Garcia. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now batting. Third baseman, three, five. To the plate now, Reese Hines. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Flores ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Jackson Flores. Up high, two and one now. High in the air out towards shallow right. Friedel is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. And now in the box, Samuel Infante comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he's taking here and looks at strike two right down the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Throw over to first, and late reactions, and they got him. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And that's taken high for the ball. It's full now, three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Winker able to track it down for the third out. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to hit is the catcher, Bo Taylor. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Hector Perez. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Ready on one and two. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A 
another one sent foul. Here's another one, two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Nick Senzel, he bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Ah, comes back with a dandy of a curveball there, and it's a full count, 3-2. High in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Hit on the ground out to short. Field it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. A 1-1 home. A bouncer up the middle. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. At the plate now, Victor Robles. And it's one, one and two. two Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Hit the other way out toward right field. Friedel will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So now into the box is Jeremy De La Rosa. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. RJ Alaniz takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. One. So now to the plate, Rhett Wiseman popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. At the plate, Drew Mendoza. Two true pitches fouled away. Strasburg on third. De La Rosa on second. Wiseman at first, one gone. Fouled off. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. One run is scored. He beat it. And he's safe. Now back. The first base. Standing in now, Mike Ford. There's a ball well struck for the right field corner. Gone! CNL Perez, a 5 foot 11 inch left handed reliever, enters to take over on the mound now. Stepping in now, Jackson Flores. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Perez, take charge himself out there, and there's two down. Now it'll be Samuel Infante. It was a walk in his last trip. Infante. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And standing in the outfielder, Jesse Winker. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. 
he was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So so now we've got a battle on our hands. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And he'll take it to the He's bag out. himself for the out. Digging in next, base, Logan Morrison six. struck out in his okay. last trip to the plate. Morrison. Bases are empty, one man out. That's a ball. And he misses two and one. A couple two strikeouts one, early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Now a swinging bunt. Two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out into the box. T.J. Friedel now grounded back. out Thank in his you. last at bat. T.J. Friedel. A one one, and he fouls this one off. Pitch number 100 on its way. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Now into the box, number 38. He flew out in his last A.B. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, look at the dive. Got it's him. there. He got him. Now batter, the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. One for two in the ball game thus far. Into the corner and slicing foul. One out, nobody on. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Next up, Victor Robles. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Now to the plate, number 28. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1 2 is a fastball that misses. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Okay. Jose Garcia waits on deck. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted the other way down the left field line. De La Rosa moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Stepping in once now again is Jose Just Garcia. It Jose. was a two bagger for him in his last step bat. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Lifted down the line and left. De La Rosa is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. Stepping in next, Reese Hines. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the one and two. Skied into very shallow right. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Philip Deal will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. 
Mike Freeman is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. The one one home. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The right Digging in will be Rhett Wiseman. Right. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one one home. Misses ball two. ball two. Two balls, one strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Winker is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. And now here is Drew Mendoza. He singled and drove home two his last time. Now the three and two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. On to Morrison at first and that ends the inning. Luis Avilon is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Bo Taylor. Now the one and one pitch. Just catches the inside corner for strike two. Two and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And a good throw gets him one gone. And stepping in, Mike Freeman. Third and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after Freeman. entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Now the three and two pitch. And he ball takes ball four, four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Nick Senzel. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. 1 1 pitch is a sinker taken for a strike 1 and 2. Hard sinker misses 2 and 2. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in standing. Here now the 2 2. It's taken down and in for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Here's Mike Ford. He had that big three run homer in his last appearance. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. He's fallen behind now three and one. I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between three one and two 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 you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Now the three and two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The batter number 22. So now here is Jackson Flores. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Now to the plate, here is Samuel Infante. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. To 2 and 2 now. And a 
changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So stepping in is now number 38. Number 0 for 38. 2 with a walk for him so far. Runner. Now the 2 1 pitch. Now the double steal is on here. He swings and misses. Throw down. Bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Here now the 2 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now at the plate, here is Jesse Winker. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one one. Ball two. The win would be Steven Strasburg's here, one. barring any late turn of events. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. That's ball three. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Logan Morrison is on deck. Fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting. First Up baseman. next, Logan Morrison. Okay. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Right Number 16. Now at the plate, TJ Friedel. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. De La Rosa is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. A 5 nothing finish tonight. The Rochester Red Wings wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Steven Strasburg pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Red Wings. Five runs, six hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the bats, no runs on only two hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.